Hey Sharp Shots, Kirsten Joy Weiss here to introduce you to something unique and rare that you may have never seen before. Used in everything from clearing rooms and saving hostages to paintball and airsoft games, I bring you the Corner Shot. First, the advantage of seeing danger before it sees you is tenfold. It allows you to assess the situation before taking action, and that split second can be the difference between entrapment or freedom, life or death, punishment or mercy. Rarely do we get those precious seconds in high stress scenarios, but the corner shot changes that. To simplify, the corner shot allows the user to monitor above barriers, below barriers, and around corners completely behind cover while simultaneously engaging and containing the target. We'll get into the operation of this in a second because it's pretty awesome, but first I want you to understand the why behind this creation to understand its intended purpose. I've been around the world a few different places and lived in different countries. What I realize is America is kind of a Disneyland and we take a lot of our safety for granted. But some other countries are under threat from the outside. Israel is no exception to that rule. Even though Amos Golan grew up in a war zone, it didn't squash his creativity. The brainchild of Mr. Golan, Corner Shot, was created to save lives and champions the same motto. Corner Shot is used around the world by law enforcement, military, and special forces. This not only has the potential to to save the lives of the operator and his companions, but also gives the ability to engage a hostile in dialogue to de-arm and de-escalate the situation verbally before ever even having to take a shot. Here's how it works. It consists of two main parts. These two parts bend by a hinge in the middle at an approximate 60 degree angle to allow for the operator to shoot around corners and barriers from a concealed position using a camera system to see where the gun is pointed. The camera system consists of a front camera that feeds a live view signal to a reinforced, ruggedized LCD screen near the operator, acting as their eyes without ever having to stick their head out of cover. And the LCD screen is operated by a switch and automatically shuts off when the screen is closed to save battery life. The batteries come in easily switchable packs in either a rechargeable version or battery operated. The firearm itself, in this case a pistol, is connected by simply fitting it into the pre-molded area and snugging it down with Allen screws. A lever moves the gun left or right with quick return to front. Now there are two ways to aim the system, with the system facing forward, aiming down the physical sights of the gun attached to the system, or through the live view at any point using the crosshairs on the LCD screen to engage your target. The trigger is a physical cable system engaged by the device's trigger. It pulls the actual firearm's trigger simultaneously if a shot is needed. This way, if your electronics fail, you can still pull the trigger without a problem. A light is found above the front camera, and this, in conjunction with the infrared capabilities, allows the system to be used at night. Mine is fitted with a Glock 23 in 40 caliber, but other options include those listed here. One of the most interesting things is that it can be used as a surveillance tool. It allows you to determine whether a room is clear to enter without any brave soul having to stick his head in like a gopher, reveal his position, and put himself in direct danger if there is a threat. This is why I can see the potential for home defense as well being able to look into a room and check if there's actually a threat or not from a position of safety is valuable. In a scenario where a woman is home alone with the kids and hears a bump in the night, this may be what gives the her time to figure out whether the potential threat is just after her TV or if she and her children are in danger. And if it is the latter, the time to carefully aim with a platform that is much more stable than free-handed pistol. It's not a pleasant scenario by any means, but losing innocent lives is worse. It eliminates that fear factor while also creating precious space to think, discern, and act with confidence, whether that's speaking or, if need be, shooting. Now the corner shot takes some getting used to, but once you do, it's kind of addictive. I will say that there's some pros and cons, and I'm gonna list them real quick right now. 
Changing from left to right is more akin to a stick shift in a car than a straightforward up and down side to side. There's a lip of plastic that keeps the handle from moving sideways while using it to aim. I'm sure with time, the necessary movement becomes second nature. What's really cool is that it returns to zero just like that. I don't love the idea that it's not a quick detach to access the gun if you wanted to use it traditionally, but it is secure and in my experience holds its zero. The magazine area is open so you can use extended magazines if that's what it calls for. The trigger is heavy because it's effectively four and a half pounds and then you add whatever your trigger weight is on your gun to that weight. I had no issue with it though because it breaks crisply. Obviously, it's awesome that you can go around corners and above barriers, check under cars, wonderful things like that. The con is that it doesn't really articulate that much. As you can see, there's no hip firing really. And if you have the sunshade on, it makes it impossible to shoot below eye level with the system parallel to the ground. So you're gonna have to either lift it up, put it down, or just not worry about it, make it work for you. Now I was really surprised that the crosshair is actually a sticker, but after speaking with Cornershot, they chose this way because their alternate viewfinder with integrated crosshairs is much more complicated to zero, and they prefer to keep the operation simple. And upon sighting this thing in, it is simple. The biggest con, and it is a big one, is the safety system. Now you can switch the safety on with a button on the side, but the problem is that the device is on safety, but the gun is not. On top of that, even if the safety is on, guess what? I can still move the little piece that engages the trigger. Yep. Not so good. You have to make sure that you clear the gun as well as putting it on safety. As you can see, I've been spending a lot of time with this gun, just having such a good time. It's not just a defense weapon, it's actually really fun to just shoot. And since I'm a shooter, that's what I did. note is that the recoil is awkward. It is so strange and it's something to get used to. Instead of going back into your shoulder, the recoil is actually going sideways. So you have to really hold on to that grip and make sure you contain that recoil a lot different than a regular gun. But I found it really interesting to try to shoot this and it was a new challenge so I didn't mind one bit. One of the biggest frustrations for me today, to be honest, was the live view in the sunlight. It's almost impossible to see your targets or distinguish between targets when the sun is directly on the live view. Like any other LCD screen, it's gonna have problems with the sun. But I was able to hit the plates anyway. Now those are 10 inch steel plates and at about 25 yards, they kind of disappear in the camera. The dot of the crosshair is about the size of the steel plate at 25 yards. So that gives you a little bit of context. Now Corner Shot does make a few cameras and it's really easy to switch out the cameras. All you do is flip this switch right on the side, turn in 180 and pop it off. They have three different camera possibilities and they claim that their cameras are good from 15 meters, 35 meters, and 65 meters. And then you just switch it back on. Real simple. This will allow a little bit more magnification and if I switched the cameras while doing the shots, it probably would have helped a bit. But then where's the challenge in that? The other thing is, sound. Now, if you're operating it fast, you're gonna have some sound. It's not covert, really. If you do it very slowly, you can certainly lessen the sound, but there's still some clicking sound even then. But luckily, you're shooting behind cover completely, so who cares if somebody can hear you because they can't shoot you anyway, right? So it's not really a problem, but I would love for this to be a little bit more quiet. Finalize, even though there's a few things I would tweak or modify if possible. This is a sweet 
invention. It not only has the potential to save the lives of you and your companions, it also gives people a second chance or just some time to find some justice. And imagine fitting this with a paintball gun or an airsoft gun. The other team would just give up. So I can see the valuable aspects and I can see the life-saving aspects and I can also see the fun aspects. So hopefully we're gonna have some fun with this in the future as well, so stay tuned. And thank you for joining me for the fun challenge and joy of shooting. Your time is valuable and I appreciate you spending it with me. So as always, aim true, even if it's sideways, and happy shooting. I shot this a lot because, you know, work, but also fun. So what are you gonna do? Oh, are you serious? Little nut faces. No, go away, bug. You're not welcome. Hey, yeah, get away. Away with you, you fiends.